I started cheer when I was around five years old as the rec team in our town and then I got to middle school and I started cheer there and I cheered throughout high school. I was captain my junior and senior year there as well and when I got to college I realized I couldn't see my life without cheer so I came to Rhode Island. When I ended up trying out for the team I met Alexa Miller and another girl that I ended up rooming with my freshman and sophomore year. Alexa is the funniest person I know. She will make you laugh on any day that you're feeling down. Mm -hmm. I hate this. <laughs> Ready? So I'm Alexa, I am a senior and I'm a captain. I didn't want to cheer in college, like that wasn't really on my radar. I like wanted to be like in a sorority, like I didn't know where I wanted to go to school. Randomly went to a clinic at URI and I talked to Steph. And I was like, okay, like, and this was the only school where tryouts were before commitment day, which is like the first, I think, May. And I kind of used that if I make the team, maybe I'll go there. If not, then I'll look somewhere else. And then I made the team and then I committed that day. So. You committed the same day with the Yeah, because it happened to be like a welcome day or something. So then I committed. <laughs> Taylor says we met my freshman year when we were taking the train home. And I kind of remember it because I did take the train home, but like I can't remember her specifically. But we met freshman year and she tried out, so like I knew of Taylor. Alexa doesn't remember when we met this one time and we laugh about it now because it's funny, but so we were like by ourselves and we were like next to each other. So we started like talking or whatever and I don't even remember what we said, but then we like got on the train and we were like, good luck. And she was like, good luck. But she has no recollection of that. So like the first time she came back to cheer, I like told her this and she's like, I don't remember that. And everyone laughed and thought I was weird because I was like, no, I swear it happened. But Leah, over the summer, we like DM'd each other because we both liked Harry Styles. So we DM'd each other and we were just like DMing random things about like Harry Styles. And then literally we didn't speak for like the first like half, half of the year of that first year of cheer because we were too scared to talk to each other. And then finally we ended up talking to each other and now we're best friends. So that's how me and Leah met. I just remember Taylor because Taylor literally slid into my DMs on Instagram after we had both made the team. It was about a Harry Styles post or something. And I didn't know anybody yet, we hadn't even moved in. And it was like very shortly after the roster was posted. So everybody was following each other and like, you know, trying to find who you were gonna be on the team with. And she ended up like reaching out to me about it and then the two of us just started like going at it from there. Me and Kayla kind of started together. Uh, last year we were both off mat and we kind of, me, Kayla, Maria, and Bella started a stunt group together because we don't really have much to do over there, especially when it comes to national season. Um, but the four of us like made our own group and we had like a really, really good time and that made me and Kayla a lot closer. Made <laughs> I don't know, um, I don't know. I feel like I got, I got really close with my stunt group last year with Leah, Maria and Bella. I don't know, I like everybody. I feel like everyone in my rookie class, I feel like we got close. Cause... Yeah, I feel like I have a lot of different people on the team that I go to for different reasons. Like me and Kayla always drive places together and we're like very close and like we always talk about everything that happens and she's like, a really good friend of mine but then I have my family who's like also a really big part of my experience here and it's just even the freshmen this year like I've gotten close with a lot of them so it's really just the team as a whole that I love <laughs> okay um all right I don't even know how to answer this anymore so Cass is the the stern coach, the do it right now coach, or get up your fine coach. Um, and I would say that Steph, our assistant coach, is definitely like the more nurturing coach, the one who picks you up when you're down, the one who can tell when you're having a bad day, and who cares when you're having a bad day. Oh So the two of them, I would say, together would be 
the perfect coach in one. You have the tough side, the side that you need when you are lacking some days, and you need the coach after those days where they check on you and they are making sure that you are still physically, emotionally, and mentally okay. December starts our national season right after football. We are immediately in grind season, it's crunch time. We are in the gym, either Keeney Gymnasium or A-List Athletics in Warwick, which is a 40 minute drive from us. And whenever we can get gym space, we will drive there. Like, I just came down early, it's okay. It's not okay because we can't see the full picture. So if you need to go in the mirror and you need to phone a friend to fix your emotions, you need to fix your signs, whatever it is, come in tomorrow night like ready to go so you know what's happening. Like we can't spend the same amount of time tonight on what we just fixed tonight, we need to fix the rest of it. 